All right, guys. So it seems that Procter & Gamble has also fell under, I guess they fell victim to the LGBT forcing them to change the logo on female maxi pads or, you know, always protection. So I'm going to read the article um, from CNN Help. It says, um, always is taking the female symbol off its packaging to be inclusive of transgender and non-binary customers. Excuse me, y'all. Okay, so Procter & Gamble, always parent company, announced that it will redesign its pad products to be more inclusive. Always sanitary products will remove the Venus symbol historically used to represent the female sex from its products to be inclusive of transgender and non-binary customers. Transgender activists and allies had publicly urged, publicly urged Procter & Gamble to redesign its pad wrapper without the gender symbol a circle atop a cross. Among their arguments that were that not all people who menstruate are women and that not all women menstruate. Let me stop right there. Who gives a fuck? If you're a woman who menstruate, then you'll buy tampons or always ultra. If you're a woman who don't, then you won't. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a man who don't menstruate because I'm a guy, right? I have no need to ever look at a box of tampons unless my wife and I actually am getting married this Saturday. I had planned on not even doing any videos until after I got married, like Monday of next week. But one of my stud lesbian friends tagged me in this shit on Facebook just so I could just see what I would say about it. And I put a little comment in a second, but I told I make a video about it. And um, so that's, that's just the point, you know? I mean, it's a situation where nothing is never enough for the LGBT community. Nothing is never enough. When I was, you know, going to Red Lobster, I used to work at Red Lobster a long time ago. And I had a couple of black friends who kept on saying they kept on getting discriminated against at white bars. They had a white bar directly across the street from Red Lobster. And you could see it. White dudes did not want black dudes in that bar. You know what these niggas did? Went to um a, a bank, got a loan, and now they have a very, very mega successful black gay bar that I never go into. <laughs> but I mean, I know where it's at. So it's one of the things where when somebody don't want you you know, around them, or, you know, you got to fight for something, you create your own shit, you create your own avenue, why not make, like, your own transgender brand of tampons, you have a completely cornered market to yourself, you would corner the market, so let's get back into this shit, so apparently some guy named Jocelyn on Twitter, and I'm really reading the article, I can really see my iPad sitting, where my thing at, right there, I'm really reading this shit, so it's a dude named Jocelyn, who says, um, hi, always, I understand that you guys love girl positivity, but please understand that there are trans men that get periods. Okay. Um, get periods. Um, and if you could do something about the symbol on your package, I'd, I'd be more happy about that. I'd hate to have any of my trans male friends feel dysphoric. The ch now, this is back to the article. The change is the latest in a series of actions that companies and governments are taking to affirm the identities of transgender people as transgender activism uh, equality surges. Companies including Lyft, MasterCard, and Tinder are making similar moves. For over 35 years, always have championed girls and women and will continue to do so, Procter & Gamble said Tuesday in a statement. <clears throat> We're also committed to diversity. There go that word again. And inclusion that are on a continual journey to understand the needs of our co consumers. Getting periods can be a dysphoric experience for transgender and non-binary people, especially because the way periods are generally discussed and addressed as something that you only happen to get once a month, or that um, something that women only get at birth. I mean, that who are assigned women at birth. So meaning, I guess it means that uh, getting a period is only assigned to human women who are born as women when they're born as women. Whew. Okay, so Procter & Gamble has not said when the design change will happen. We routinely assess our products and packaging and designs taking into account consumer feedback to, to ensure we are meeting the needs of everyone who uses our products, the company said in a statement. Let me say something. I just saw a $20 box of cereal 
that's called all inclusive. All it's called all together. It's um like frosted flakes, lucky charms, all this shit smashed together in a box. And it's a gay box of cereal to represent, I guess, um, you know, diversity in cereal also. So it, this shit is getting so retarded and it's getting out of hand. And it's getting to a point where all my gay friends are starting to peep game. And I'm kinda I'm kinda honored that these gay people are getting smart and hip to the game that the gay shit is now monetary it's very very profitable to corner the gay market now i got some friends right now who i'm more than positive they're conservatives not really into nothing gay at all but they're now selling gay merchandise and and they've actually boosted sales like 20 20 percent more a month now like one of my partners told me he has gay merchandise and he's now making like i think like seven thousand dollars more money a month because now it's cool to just wear a rainbow shirt to show support. Not because you really want to be gay or you think it's cool. You just wearing the rainbow because you know what? I want to fit in now. It's a movement. I want to be part of the movement. And what's happening is some of my stud friends, white female stud friends, are getting angry because they holler at girls with a rainbow shirt. And a girl like, oh, my bad. I'm not gay. I'm just wearing this shit because it's cool. So they're um, like misfiring. <laughs> And it's funny to see like this shit happening that a lot of girls and a lot of dudes are hollering at niggas who ain't really gay. They're just wearing gay stuff. Like they're wearing gay like um regalia and um paraphernalia on their body. So you might think a dude with a, a, a um a equal sign shirt is part of the movement or he's down, you know, with some um bisexual shit. But he's just like a dude, you know, showing support for his gay brother or something. So now gays are actually getting more angrier because it's it's more of a fad now to be non-binary or to be you know non-gender conforming and all the other 89 different stupid ass things they're giving people now and i'm loving it bro i'm sitting on the sideline on some george carlin shit laughing my fucking ass off all the way to the grave with this shit bro i don't wanna be i don't i don't want to be alive i want to be i want to be just alive to see the shit crash down because there's no end game i can tell you right now there's really no end game at this point when you have a movement you have to have a conclusion to your movement to make you satisfied with the end result and there is no satisfaction so i don't know let always change their products women who are women are going to need tampons no matter you know if the package is blue green or black and people who are transgender are going to buy tampons regardless to whether there was a um i guess a male or female symbol on the box anyway if you gotta if you gotta take a shit and you need toilet paper it doesn't matter if snoopy is on the box I'm wiping my ass because I have that, that. That's a fucking, you know, a bodily function that needs, you know, it needs cleaning. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Hit like, share, and subscribe. Holla back. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, bookmark the page because YouTube is also fighting my views because of my views. I'm out of here.